and I've got to get into on shape. All right, this is the what's it called? The nameplate tutorial. Everything's slowing down with more and more people on. the network. Sorry about the delay. All right, great. Document. And we'll call it nameplate, I guess. Sorry, it's lagging a little. Here is how I would do it. Yep. Yes. Okay, so we're going to look at it square by clicking on front. We're going to click on sketch. We're going to tell it where to sketch. That's people's biggest problem usually. Click here. We're going to make a rectangle, corner rectangle. You remember that it was supposed to be four by one. So hit the dimension tool. Click on the line. Click four. There's my four. So the dimension tool, click on the vertical line, click, one. There's my four feet or four inches wide by one inch high. Um, but now we needed that to be one inch deep. So it was four by one by one. So now I click on extrude. And the depth is already one inch. And so I click yes, and let's look at it. We kind of have this block. The simple way to make the nameplate without a um, an angle, one way would be, I'm going to say sketch. I'm going to sketch right on top of this sort of block that I made. I'm going to pick a rectangle. I'm going to click right here. Click. Drag. And that's a, we sort of made a, a square on top of the rectangle. And now we're going to extrude that again. But this time, instead of new or add, we're going to say remove. Uh, change blind to through all. And now we took away that stuff. Now, there's a few ways to do this other part. Um, we're supposed to have our name on it. Let's do the name first. Whoa. So to do the name, I'm going to click and say right on here. Unclick that. Say sketch. <laughs> then click on here. And where's our letter thing? There's the letter. It's text. I think that's the um, lunch. That's the lunch homeroom bell. And uh, I click and drag. Now I type whatever I want. Name, plate, 
you're going to type your name or a nickname or something. Click on that. Now, if I wanted this to be smaller or bigger, I can use the dimension tool. Click on a line. And it's 3.2. I'm going to change that to 2. And it will shrink it down. Now, the, the, the one thing I think you can't do is you can't, like, try to make it squished more. If I change this number, it's 0.28. If I make it 0.5, this number will get bigger. You can't, you can't change one without changing the other proportionally. And see, it's not even letting me do that. If, now, if I change this, it's all red. It's not allowing this to happen. I could right click this, say change the driven dimension, and now it, you know, it allowed this one to control. I'm going to undo, undo, and let's leave it there. Uh, so now we have our, our words, we're going to extrude those. We could extrude by adding, and that would stick out. Let's see it's sticking out, or I could remove and have them engraved. I'm going to let it uh, stick out like that. Now, here's something that um, I said was optional, which was to give it a curved front edge. Well, there were a few ways. One was to change this. That's probably the way I should have done it. I'm not sure this is going to allow me to do this since I've extruded on top here, but I'm going to say sketch and sketch on here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And I'm going to use the line tool. I'm going to start here. Go down. Like that. Up the corner. And once I click and connect, it knows that that's a thing. I'm going to extrude and remove and go to blind and say through all I don't know what that's going to look like or, okay it did make it sort of that's not the best way it's a way so anyway that'll get you through the nameplate so you, at least you have the part done for your grade